Hey guys, welcome to K-Life UTG. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. All right, now we are going to install some PRP 4.2 uh, harnesses today. That's a four point harness, actually she's gonna be the installer. Uh, the tools you're gonna to need is a 17 millimeter deep dish with a three inch drive ratchet, which she has right here, she's showing you guys. You're gonna need a 10 millimeter uh, socket too, and a 14 millimeter, so you got 14 and 10 millimeter. And you'll need a 17 millimeter wrench to do this job, and a flathead screwdriver as well. Also short. And a short 17 millimeter socket as well. Uh, for a flathead screwdriver, you're going to need some wire cutters and a little bit of electrical tape or shrink wrap, whatever you prefer. Um, so let's get the job installed. Alright, guys, I'm back. We're going to go ahead and do the install. I lied to you earlier. She ain't going to install it today. It's going to be me. So you guys are stuck with my handsome ass today. So. <laughs> What we're gonna do is, um, this is a 14 millimeter, so we're gonna use a 14 millimeter socket, 3H drive, right here, what I got going on. So, and I pretty loosened these bolts to speed up the video, guys. So take that 14 millimeter out, like so. Let that fall down. We put our bolts back in the holes to keep the debris and stuff out of the holes. So hopefully they don't rust back up on us. So we're gonna move on down to this box. This box is a 17 millimeter deep socket. So we got a 17 millimeter. It's kind of a tricky one to get to. So we got that out of the way. Like I said, we put our bolts back in it, like so, guys. So keeps everything out of it. And you won't be using these two bolts anymore, the 14 or the 17, uh, for the, the harness. Keep that back in there. All right. So we got a little. Uh, a little cap dust cap shield you got to remove to get to this bolt for these push pins which i already popped them out but it's right here so we'll do that we'll move that out of our way over here like that and this is a 17 millimeter you got to use a wrench on it so you take your 17 millimeter wrench you put on it use it this way which we got ours loose take your fingers out right here Finger tight, good. All right, so your factory stuff is out. All right, so what you're gonna do now is you come up to the your harness. I'm throw some back, guys. And you're gonna grab your lap harness for this side, of course. All right, so that use your bolt. Stick it through this one. Make sure you guys go through the wing. Make sure you don't got your your straps uh, twisted or anything when you reinstall it. Bring it back down here. Get her started by so. Alright. Now get your wrench, get her tightened down. buckle side it's a 17 millimeter too so I'm gonna grab the, the wrench I'm gonna break it loose get her finger tight all right hang on to this 17 let me pull your buckle out and come over to your lap strap guys and you get the lap strap here make sure it ain't twisted Put your bolt through it. Come down here and get it started. Get 
really easy, pretty easy job, guys, really, to be honest with you. So there, 17 millimeter back on, we're getting tightened down good and tight. Sorry guys. This is actually the 17 short socket. I'm gonna get my out so I'm gonna go Alright guys, you snug that back down so your lap harness is actually installed now. Now, on the directions of the PRP, they recommend you mount your straps to a piece of the roll bar that goes from here to the other roll cage, which our Kawasaki don't have one. It does got a, a bar underneath all this plastic runs across the cross. I'm not going to drill into that to mount this. So we're gonna, my next step that I found should be the next best option for me, which I'm not suggesting anybody do it because it might not be safe. You know what I mean? I think it's good enough where I'll be all right. Um, so if you mount it where I'm mounting mine, that's on your own, your own doing. But anyway, all right, so we got these 10 millimeters loose enough where we can run the strap to this top post right here. So we're gonna feed her through. It's enough where you can grab it from underneath, which this is metal, so. Um, I think we'll be in good shape there, guys. And you put it through your harness, like so. Okay. Strap down real good. Just like so, like that, guys. All right, guys, strap can be a pain, and that's exactly what it's doing. All right, here we go, we got it now. All right, so you pull it down there, and you grab a 10 millimeter with the ratchet. Do tighten your 10 millimeter back down. Like so, I'm going to do the same on this side. So, and those straps are completely, you ain't going nowhere on those things. That's pretty much it. You do you just do the same on the install on the driver's side, but there's one thing I gotta tell you about the driver's side, is you'll need your wire cutters and a piece of electrical tape, and I'll show you why. Is when you take the buckle out on the driver's side, down here, you'll have to cut the, the safety switch. Instead of buying a 10 or $20 plug, once you cut the safety switch, there's actually two wires here, which I already put mine together. You strip those two wires, wrap them together, put a piece of electrical tape on this, or um, some shrink wrap. And what, by doing that, what that's doing is bypassing your safety switch. So you'll have full power from the minute you turn your key on till you turn your machine off. You'll never have to worry about snapping your seat belt. But just remember, when you jump in and you're not buckled in, you're gonna have full power the whole time. So that's how you do it the cheap way, which I'm gonna wrap some electrical tape on that. And uh, that should be it guys. So hopefully this video helps. If you have any questions, send us a message and we'll give you a final uh, look of it right now in the front. Action. All right, now that we have the new harnesses installed, I'm gonna show you how to use them. Just for the ones that don't know, you know. I mean, I've never used them, so I just had to show me. So I'll show you guys. Make sure they're not twisted, of course. 
Ladies, make sure you move your hair if it's down because it will get snapped in. <laughs> All right, so you just want to buckle it in. And you want to tighten the bottom ones first. I got these quick draws. I got to kind of ease it with one at a time until it's a little tighter. Then you can just pull them both at the same time. Do it to, you know, where it feels comfortable, not too tight, not too loose. And then the same for up here, these little loops. And just tighten it down. And then strapped in. Can't go nowhere. Unless the seat flies out, then you guys should be good. <laughs>